Hi and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to uh, build a LED strip um, and this is going to be mounted in my kitchen on uh, above my kitchen sink uh, and it's going to be uh, some sort of motion detector in uh, in the in this sensor as well. So um, I'm going to build this node on a uh, easy PCB and if you want to check out uh, how to build this one and uh, what it is it's uh, you can check out my other videos uh, but it's pretty much uh, my sensors node on a uh, NRF 24L01 plus and a Pro Mini and it's going to be powered by the 12 volts coming from the LED transformer uh, as the LED driver I have actually developed a, um, a PCB on its own uh, where, we'll, uh, where I will have a, a voltage regulator uh, which will provide 5 volts for the, uh, my sensors uh, part and uh, also a MOSFET to dim the uh, LED strip. Um, I have got myself a LED strip from eBay um, and a AC to DC converter at 12 volts 20 watts uh, which I'm going to use to power. Um, this is the first revision of my LED um, board and it's actually going to be mounted as a daughter board on the um, my sensors node using the Muse X connector here as you can see it's the same one uh, and this is going to be the motherboard and this is going to be the daughter board and it's going to be connected with pin headers but uh, in the first revision uh, I actually made a mistake and these parts here were supposed to be bare metal and uh, solder mask um, I forgot to remove the solder match ma uh, mask from these parts because um, I want the bare metal there to have some sort of he uh, heat sink. So I actually uh, scraped. Um, I, I hope I can use that as a heat sink for the MOSFET and the voltage regulator. Maybe I even have to add some sort of heat sink, but let's see. I have in uh, TU. 220 packages, a voltage regulator, and I'm using the LM uh, 2940CT, um, which is going to uh, regulate 12 volts from the um, transformer to to the mass sensors node. Uh, I'm using the IRL Z44N, which is um, in the demo on the my sensors website um, as the MOSFET which is going to dim the LED strip and they're going to be mounted there. Um, I need a couple of pin headers uh, for the connection to the motherboard and I also have a couple of capacitors for the voltage regulator to to smoothen that out if necessary. So uh, let's start the build and see how this goes. This is actually the first time I create um, a dimmer for my sensors uh, or build it myself, independent of which protocol I use. But uh, I've heard that it's um, the MOSFETs might be uh, generating a lot of heat, so I hope. 
hope this will be enough, but I might have to put a heatsink heat on, on the back there. And uh, let's see. The values on the capacitor uh, kind of depends on, on which uh, voltage regulator you use. But check the data sheet. In normal cases, you have an input uh, and an output capacitor. And I have checked the data sheets from my, so I know exactly which one I have to use. And I'm going to bend them like this, um, so I can squeeze the bores together as much as possible and make it small. that in normal cases and uh, in the specification for the for the Mesa X connector you have a male header like this one on the motherboard and then on the bottom of the daughter board you provide a, a, a female header and you attach it like this uh, but I'm actually going to sheet some in this setup to make it even smaller. The only downside with this is that you won't be able to easy remove or detach the daughter board for the, from the motherboard but uh, that's fine for me. Also going to add a jumper on R8 uh, and this is a, a, a resistor which goes between the digital output pin on the Arduino to the uh, MOSFET and so because some MOSFETs uh, need a, a, a resistor sorry a resistor there and also a small note that if you plan to use different uh, MOSFET and voltage regulation, uh, regulator, be, be sure to check out that it's the right pinout um, in that order that I have it here and it, it's the same as these ones. So I'm going to add a, a jumper there and I think I'm going to find some other screws and attach them and I'll be back. So I attached a couple of wires to the LED strip and the LED strip are, they have markings on them where they are supposed to be cut and soldered so I uh, focus, there we go, uh, I, I had a cut them there and we have 12 volts on the upper part and ground the lower part just as marked so I uh, just soldered and added some uh, electrical type for insulation so just give this a try see what happens and yeah Seems to be 
working good enough. Um, so I think that the next part here will be to solder this on the main board and upload some nice sensor software. is coming to the motherboard as expected and next up is software so let's see if we can upload some software to this board I have prepared uh, my sensor sketch which will be uh, checking uh, both a motion detector and also receive incoming messages and change the LED strip status pretty much a standard my sensor sketch um, I use a NF24 radio I always defined uh, the node ID mostly to keep track of all my nodes and this will be number 20 uh, I defined uh, uh, some things for uh, the motion detector and the motion detector is attached to uh, number six, uh, digital pin number six, and the LED pin is on digital pin number three. In the setup, isn't much happening. Uh, just change the digital input for the motion detector to input. Uh, we have the presentation of both motion detector and dimmer, and in the loop, it's pretty much just to check if the motion detector is triggered and if it is it sends the information back to the controller we also have a receive function which will set the LED strip dimmer level accordingly when the change is uh, incoming from the controller so let's upload this and see what we get uh, the board is correct so per mini processor is also correct correct port and program also let's see what happens here and we have a small error which we I hope we have fixed like that and the sketch is compiling and uploading And we can see if we see anything in the serial debug. It looks like it is detecting some motion when I'm moving around here. That's good. And let's open up my uh, home automation controller devices. And let's see if we can find. We have a security sensor which was recently added and we have a dimmer which you can see change from hey that's uh, just what we are looking for uh, and now I'm going to build myself some uh, enclosure for this uh, device and actually mount it in the kitchen so uh, let's continue with that uh, so this is uh, how I'm going to solve the, the case um, I found this one uh, standard um, electronics case uh, can be found in any hardware store and I have made a couple of holes in it um, which I'm going to show you my ID and I have cut the wires to the LED and I am going to have to desolder the wires for <laughs> so the ID is something like this 
and this wire out of here like something like that and then So there we have it, so let's see if everything fits, and a little bit gap here, I probably have to clean some glue away or uh, maybe I have to remove this, seems to be something there, but hey, that look, looks good. So thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions, just post something on the forum and I will be there. Thank you very much.